hello guys welcome this is irene faith love and trends i'm gonna give my final thoughts when it comes to married at first sight season 17 the denver cast um basically the cast kind of made a deal with each other in a pact to try to make each other look as good as possible during the filming uh everybody i don't know was if they were in on the pact or not but many of them brought up that there was a pact and there was a conversation about this and all the marriages ended up failing in this um the last couple who kind of got a late start because uh michael his wife left him at the altar so they gave him a second chance and picked another person for him that fit the category for those of you that don't know experts pick who you're supposed to marry and the name of the show kind of speaks for itself married at first sight you get married then you get to know the person you live with them you jump right into a marriage you have a honeymoon and all those things and then at the end of so many weeks they call it decision day and you decide if you want to stay with this person or divorce them so this is like a really huge commitment but this season was somewhat of a failure just because the cast kind of had their own side deals as far as what they kept calling optics and trying to appear to be a certain way trying to appear to be perfect but when in fact they you know they all kind of had their own issues and feelings were hurt issues were had one of the main issues was in the beginning with lauren and orion um everything was going good with them in the beginning but the issue of race came up he's native american and she's african-american and they were kind of talking about racial slurs in general and some things were said that i don't think were meant to be harmful but lauren looked like the bad guy in this scenario but um, a lot of people were on lauren's side and i really thought that orion should have tried to continue the marriage and he did periodically but he was never fully back in it so things didn't work out lauren you got to see her her emotions were broken she didn't get a chance to fulfill um the process of marriage and the whole process of this show it's just like she got married and got divorced in five minutes and didn't you know didn't have much time to fix or redeem any issues so that was one of the early on issues uh, with becca and austin she was saying that he was a different person on camera than he was off he was more loving he acted like he was trying harder um their intimacy never got to the point of where she felt like it was good you know they in the kiss cuddle made out they may have went a bit farther but as far as consummating their marriage they never got to that point and i think that um becca was really hoping that they would get to that point but it was something that he was being slow about on decision day they did decide to stay together but afterward she found out that he was talking to his producers and going out with the producer and she felt like it was more again about optics and possibilities for you know success or celebrity and she felt that that was more what he may have been looking for versus being with her emily and brennan had a really horrible time even in the beginning um he's basically saying he's not really attracted to her um she had never been in a relationship much less been married it's kind of a party girl and it made brennan look like the bad guy and he did actually according to emily ask her not to you know reveal certain information so it made it look like that he was trying to control the situation and look like he was a good guy he was very standoffish he wasn't open enough with his emotions they would give them assignments to do as a couples and he would kind of half do the assignments but still try to act like he was in it and try to act like he was the good guy in the scenario so that just ended up not working out they kind of had a bright spot after she 
got into an accident when they were on their ATVs. And that was crazy that that was the bright spot, but he was really there for her. It looked like things were looking up, but things broke down again. And he basically said she was a negative person and she just continued to say, you know, I'm not a negative person. You're putting that on me. And when it came to the reunion, she just looked like, to me, her true colors kind of came out in this positive, great bubbly person that we may have thought she was. That may be true, but she also seemed a little spoiled, a little spiteful. Some of the things that happened, I understand to some degree, but she seemed a little childish as well in the whole scenario. So some true colors came out during the reunion was the guys versus the girls. And the girls basically said the guys just weren't trying hard enough and giving their full effort. They were too concerned about how things looked. Um, Michael and Chloe was the only redeeming couple that actually looked like they were giving it all they had to make the relationship work. Again, Michael was left at the altar at the beginning of the season. Um, Chloe was his second chance. So they were going good. But at the end of the day, he said he just wasn't ready to be the husband that she needed. And basically, that's how the series ended. Um, And we talk about the reunion as well. as what it looked like, the guys versus the girls. The guys were setting up things to look a certain way the guys were trying to possibly see what type of benefits they can get out of being on tv and all of these elements mainly that would be brennan and cameron uh cameron later confesses at the reunion as well this that he was he was blindsided by clear clear um was supposedly seeing someone at the same time she was still in love with her ex or something like that and she was not her heart was not in the process and but he won she wanted him to continue to play along with the scenario this is what was said and then also cameron ended up getting or i i can't I'm not sure the word i won't say contracting but he ended up with a heart issue during this whole process after he separated from claire uh during the show so it was just like heartbreak um just falsities and i I was thinking about big brother just how they kind of came up with this pact and you know how they have alliances and all that it was just giving me those vibes when they were talking about some of the background things that were going on and you know this isn't big brother this is your life you're getting married to someone and some people may take divorce very lightly like everyone's doing it but I think a lot of people still have respect for the sanctity of marriage we would hope so but really at the end of the day this show kind of let us know do and kind of question put the question mark on there is the sanctity of marriage still a thing Uh, do people even respect marriage and it even made me question should this show even exist with the way that it's set up um it just can lead to failure even if you have experts setting you up with all these paperwork looking good on paper versus actually being a good marriage fit it's two different things and stepping into marriage so i mean it's not that lightly but it's it's a little bit lightly just to the fact that you haven't met this person at all you don't know how things are going to work out it is that a good idea trusting experts it really is an experiment and do you want to put your life in the hands of this experiment is the question that's asked at the end of the day but i want to talk now about you know this show basically failed the whole season failed i want to talk about the aftermath the where are they now episode so i'm gonna leave off with that and we're gonna get into the where are they now episode all right so where are they now it turns out that chloe didn't have the same experience as the other ladies 
when it came to the optics and all of that again because Michael's process was behind the other couples due to his wife leaving him at the altar his to-be wife and he had to be rematched with Chloe which I think may be a first for this show correct me if I'm wrong um so they had a different experience than the other couples and so the other couples the girls more had a bond with each other and chloe was kind of the outsider of that um so in the aftermath where they now chloe's kind of hanging with the guy she feels more comfortable with the guy she feels that they're healthier Uh, she's not really happy with the vibe of the of the ladies and she feels that some of them were kind of out to get her on social media and she kind of had an issue with Lauren because Lauren and Orion's relationship ended early in the show and Michael's wife left him at the altar so people were kind of hoping and rooting for the possibility that Lauren would end up with Michael and they put the two things together but it's something to the matches that they find the experts matches so to to take one person from one relationship to another probably wouldn't work because it's specifically people that they should be matched with um not to say that they couldn't have been a possible match but that's just not the way that they wanted to do things for the show and I also think it was it was a better way because I mean they were going through a divorce it would be better for her to heal from that than to jump into a new marriage after she's like devastated from the this one that's not working divorcing and then remarrying so quickly it probably would have been a bad look for the show but people were kind of rooting for that and I was actually thinking of that in the back of my mind as well so chloe was a little threatened by that because of her connection with michael even though he chose not to move forward with her they have a good connection a good friendship a good relationship they're still kind of flirty with each other and she's hanging out with the guy she invites michael and you know they still have this vibe with each other and i think she felt like lauren threatened that um michael i think she lauren liked michael or followed him on probably instagram or something and she wasn't happy about that um i think she may have confronted her and lauren you know unfriended him and all of that but i guess the damage was done and chloe just was not a fan of her because of the possibilities and because of the connection michael meets up with a couple of the girls and lauren it was lauren and claire and he was kind of being a little flirty with lauren he gave her this earring that she was admiring during the show so i'm sure that also sparked some upset when it came to chloe um lauren says well you're you're friends with one of the other ex ex um husbands so why was it a problem if, if i'm friends with your ex-husband if you're a friend with one of the other ladies ex-husband what is the issue and i kind of feel like yeah chloe still has such a strong connection with michael and the feelings are still there i don't feel like to me i don't know if i could say it's it's betrayal if she did end up if lauren did end up talking with michael i really can't say that because they have amicably split their friends but you know everybody's single at this point so it's pretty much open but maybe she feels like you're on the cast we're supposed to be friends um you're overstepping boundaries if you hook up with my ex and you know when it comes to a friend situation especially if your close friends have been friends for a long time i understand that but this is a a process a scenario where you guys were matched up where you guys everybody kind of became friends happenstance during the show it's not like you have built this lifelong friendship so i would say um she in some way she doesn't have a good argument but she's telling me and showing me and showing us that she still has feelings for michael she still has a strong bond for him um i don't know what's going to happen with them in the future it would be great if they continue to 
forge a relationship. They said they're going to continue to be friends and hopefully have a positive friendship during as their life continues. But, you know, I really don't know what their future is. They still look like they have a vibe. They still look like there's a connection. And according to Chloe's reaction to all of these possibilities, these rumors of Lauren being hooking up with him or connected with him, that shows there's really still a lot of strong feelings there. It may be some feelings that, you know, she needs to address. She did take everything very well. I could see the disappointment in her eyes when Michael said he wasn't ready, but she took it like a champ. She's still friends with this person. They both look very excited when they see each other. They have fun together. So, you know, I would like to see if something comes of this besides just friendship, what their future looks like. But everyone else is kind of on the same stance. They're not really feeling each other. Uh, um, Lauren and Orion... Lauren tried to continue a friendship, but or Ryan was just like too off and on. And um, she was saying again, he was kind of doing the optics thing when it came to the cameras being there. He would try to attempt to have a friendship with her, but without the cameras, he there was no connection. There was no texting back, calling back or any of that. So she thought he was kind of a part of the optics situation as well. Um... The ladies gave their wedding dresses away to um, couples that were dealing and battling cancer and wanted to get married. So I thought that was a beautiful thing. And they each gave their, put their dress in the box and kind of uh, said something of how they learned from experience and how they want to give back and what they want to give to this person. And I think it was a moving moment. And I think the women learned a lot from, from each other. And they were talking about how, you know, they didn't find what they were looking for in their spouses, but they found some new friendships that kind of gave them some of the things that they needed and some of the things that they were looking for. So at the end, they still were able to receive something from the whole process. But something Emily said caught my ear. And she said, sometimes a little hate is is good, you know she's still healing from a situation with Brennan basically he's not attracted to her he's not really following up with the process properly he's not putting himself all in he's trying to he says protect her but I think he's trying to also protect his look and how people portray and perceive him Uh, so their thing didn't work out but she said a little bit of hate is a good thing and I say I don't think so and Lauren kind of straightened her out and said, yes, maybe for the moment, but you know, you have to kind of get over that and grow and get beyond it. Um, so I, I don't think I'll ever say a little bit. Hate is good, but I see, um, I think Lauren also said it's understandable. It's natural to have those feelings, but it is something that you have to let go and get over for your own good and not really for the other person, but for yourself. But that kind of gave me some more insight into Emily's thought process and her mindset. But I wish them all the best. Um, I think Brennan has moved on. He started dating someone. Um, I believe Claire started dating someone. And it made me wonder, you know, if what Cameron was saying was true. Was she always seeing someone on the side during this whole process? Um... As far as I can recall, I think they're the only two that are dating at this time. And we'll see what happens. But yeah, um, I guess we're done with this season. So if they ever decide to, to delve back into this or if you follow them on socials or whatnot, I guess you'll see some insights or look into the relationships but you know I've kind of let it go I've kind of let the let it go the fact that hey this didn't work out this was kind of you guys kind of messed up your own process in different ways um kind of had to just let that idea go Michael and Chloe are still a possibility in my head but really I feel like Michael has this thing where he still wants to be on the hunt he's still 
maybe a little flirty, a little bit, you know, wants to see what else is out there. And I have to say his look has improved since the show. I thought his look was fine during the show, but I like the, he kind of clean cut himself a little bit. And I think his look has improved since the show has aired. I mean, everybody else I think is, is pretty much the same, but I mean, it's, it's a crazy thing, a crazy concept. And some people were actually may, may, may be able to make it work. I think this day and age that we live in, it's just harder to make it work because we're so used to things going a certain way. But in the past, people were hooked up. People were married off. People were arranged. I mean, if you get fixed up by a friend, you're technically technically in an arrangement. If things work out well, in a way, you've kind of been arranged. Not exactly like an arranged marriage, but has some similarities. So I think a lot of times we don't realize those instances, but in this day and age, it's just too many options, too many possibilities. Go online, find somebody new and, you know, getting married, having a spouse, having that whole lifestyle, having someone to love you, having a honeymoon, having relations, all those things were privileged that people really couldn't get until they got married and got to a respectful situation and if people were doing it was something they were hiding on the side it was something that was not seen as respectable and if you really wanted to have a full relationship you had to be married um women were a little bit more to me kept themselves and that was kind of ingrained in them to kind of keep yourself and wait. Um, that scenario is kind of out the door. Uh, because I do feel like, you know, the scenario where people say women, you know, you guys have a lot of the control. If you don't allow certain things, it won't happen unless you're dealing with somebody that has issues. You're not going to be put in that situation and you put yourself in that situation but there's also the the game that men play and I'm not talking about all men but you know some that I've encountered where they tell you that they love you and they give you this scenario of how perfect things are going to be and that they love you and all of these things um, to kind of make you open yourself up so that's also a thing that's going on now and, and probably went on back then as well so it's just interesting to see the different ins and outs of relationships, what leads to marriage, marriage is back then, marriage is now, and the respect that we have for them or that we don't. I think that it's all just a learning lesson. And thanks guys for listening. What are your thoughts when it comes to this show, this concept, this idea of this show? Should it be, what do you think about the sanctity of marriage? What do you think about respect for marriage? Do you think marriage is something people have as a goal now or no longer so give me a buzz email me at cbiztv at yahoo.com with your thoughts your comments your questions we'll love to hear from you um and we'll love to connect with you if you'd like to be on with us and talk about topics connected and related to faith love and trends and if you're in that business or if you're connected to that these type of topics please connect with me. Let's chat right here on CBiz Media. All the best. God bless. And I'll talk to you next time. Why I Didn't Get Married, audiobook and Spotify special, now playing. Listen now. Visit cbiztvmedia.com slash single dash Christian dash girl. Thank you.